Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and I said in the previous episode we we're going to do some greed mode and so I shall. And we're going to do it as a tainted character. Um, I'm not sure which one. Um, tainted Samson's a pretty fun one for it. We haven't, we haven't played Tainted Lazarus yet. Tainted Eden could be interesting. Goddamn, Tainted Lost we are doing well. My goodness. Uh, Apollyon could be good. Let's do, um, let's do Tainted Jacob. I think Tainted Jacob is a pretty fun character, and I think he excels in greed mode. This isn't greed mode, my bad. <laughs> Failed at the first hurdle. Wow. I think he excels at greed mode just because of the fact that he can kind of sweep up a bunch of enemies in one go. He is obviously still a little bit of a risky bisky, but goddamn, we start ourselves off very, very well. Um, and we get ourselves, hoo hoo hoo, baby. Double of the black hearts that give us a damage up. I quite like that. Um, and then here, meat would probably be a pretty good grab. Either way, we're looking good. We're looking spicy. The extra damage from our black hearts and from our item is really nice to see. Um, we'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can do. As for the question of the day, what is a recent challenge that you have overcome? I think is a decent one. Okay. We do have some barrels here. I'm not really sure what's best to use them for. I think they're ones that are going to stun. Oh, beautiful. Managed to kill that guy for me. But yeah, we, we do have to still, still be very, very wary of um, Jacob himself. In fact, I'm going to get rid of these now before they bop me into him. Which I feel like is going to happen at some point. But yeah, he's going to be a bit of a risky fella. He's going to uh, get on my nerves, but I think we can deal with him. And also as well, if we want to... We can use him to sweep up big amounts of enemies. That's kind of the best thing about him on this game mode. Is that um, enemies tend to stack up pretty quick. And if things get a little overwhelming, we can always um, introduce them to our fiery friend. And uh, get rid of uh, a few of them. Like this. I'm not a big fan of this room here. But this is the uh, final wave. So not too much to worry about. We'll grab ourselves a key after this. Um, and we'll go from there. The bosses will be pretty easy as well, which is quite nice. But yeah, as I said, we'll grab ourselves a key. We might get meat as, as well at the end of this floor. We'll see how much money we end up having. Nightlight, not particularly good. Um, could actually screw us over, but generally it's not terrible. Don't know why I've decided to lock him in here. It kind of worked out. Wasn't exactly what I was hoping for there, but it kind of works out. I'm trying to make sure I don't accidentally press the button while I'm trying to avoid my guy here. Because I feel like I'm definitely going to do that. And see, double bosses is where things start to get real wacky. Luckily, as we just saw, taking out a boss, pretty swift. Pretty swift. And there you go, we get ourselves a nice kill there. We'll go and grab me. It's not the best item ever. But um, HP plus damage, I'm pretty happy with, even if the damage is pretty minor. Um... And yeah, we'll try and get this guy to do a, a good job of uh, killing you. Pretty good job. This is a pretty horrible champion version of this guy because he splits into shots as you just saw. But honestly, Ezao will end up just kind of bonking against them as he goes quite a lot. Ah, I think he missed everything there. There you go, good. Devil deal, I'm going to leave. I would rather take angel deal because I think I'll need my HP here. This is a bit of a, a ridiculous room here in terms of the amount of, pure amount of enemies that I have to kill to leave this floor. But hey, her. it is what it is. Okay, down to the next floor. Feeling reasonably happy. Getting two damage ups early on is real nice. Um, and we can check this out. Squeezy is awesome. Real good here. Um, really, really interested in the fire rate increase and plus two soul hearts. Honestly, health isn't a big thing for this guy, but more health is better. We got double nun's habit, which I don't think would do anything for us. I'm going to play this guy a little bit and see if we can get anything good from him. Born to blood void machine. I still don't really know how these things work. Wow, it gave us two coins, baby. I think it's based on the amount of health you give it to how valuable they actually are. So I can't really blame it for uh, not giving me much there. Now, this is a slightly uh, horrible wave because it's just a very, very large amount of enemies. Um, 
a little bit overwhelmed. But we actually managed to take all of them out pretty darn quickly, to be honest. Oh, that was beautiful. It's nice to be just be able to sometimes instantly take out a wave. Bit careful. Need to make sure if I'm going to get hit, I'd much rather be hit by an enemy than I would by Dark Ezel. Like, that's... Getting hit by an enemy is way, way, way less punishing, so... If I've got to make that choice, it's a pretty easy choice to make, realistically. Okay, that was a pretty bad push there. This guy's going to be annoying, but luckily he's the champion version that has much less HP. Still don't really know if that's a bug or not, but the, the, the grey champion that drops a key on death, for some reason just has so much less HP than all the other champions. It has a half rather than double, and I, I swear I feel it's like a bug or something. But it's never been confirmed to be a bug. It might for some reason be intentional. I just wouldn't know why it would be is all. Good. Not taken care of. As are you. That's first wave easy taken care of there. So obviously yeah, we could take double nun's habit. But I just don't really see the point right now. Unless we get a really good active. And even then nun's habit. I don't really want to be getting hit for that. Room bag here is pretty good. Um, could give us some really interesting stuff. I guess I'll just go for a reroll here and um, see what we end up getting. Um, I'm going to go for another reroll. That's not particularly anything amazing. Actually, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. I, I'm gonna, I've spent a little bit too much money now, so I can't quite afford it yet. But I think overall... That's actually really goddamn good. It's it's a it's a bit risky to use like after Ezel spawns, but if we can use it a few times before he spawns, it's it's actually kind of amazing. Because the rooms are so long that we get the bonus for such a long time. Ah, oh, bugger. Ah, oh, wasn't paying attention to where this guy was, and he's extra speedy at the moment as well. I don't know how room bag works in this situation. Okay, I've lost a lot of health. Very quickly here. Um, we're going to have to see how this pans out. Uh, in fact, let me just let me just spend some money here and buy some. I, I could have bought the reflected key, I realise, and I probably should have done. But let's be honest, I think that was slightly more important for me. Really, it's two of these guys now? Oh, dude, you're so fast. Stop being so fast. And you spawn so many spiders as well. Spiders everywhere. Ah, uh, wait, really that missed? Okay. okay. We've almost got one of them dead. Okay, one's dead. Good, good. Okay. There you go, we got a hit that time. Okay, we're good. We get ourselves our angel deal. Lovely. Um, and let's have a little look-see. So we've got Ancestral Assistance, which is really good. Swarm Protector. Um, I think we're just going to go for Ancestral Assistance, to be honest. And that's the best one for us. And we will skedaddle, skedoodle out of here. Little annoyed to have not get any keys for the next floor. My bad. We also got a Holy Mantle from Ancestral Assistance here as well, which is really nice. Um, we got a library too, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, we can use this and it'll give us a, a tears up. And then we can kill the enemies and get like over here and use it again. It's a little risky because obviously we have to freeze ourselves. But I think overall, even just using it three times is a huge, huge boon for us. I don't know what the Kapala effect is for the current room, so we'll figure that out as we go, I guess. Very much not a big fan of how this is going right now, but we managed to kill most of them there. I'll freeze myself again. Yeah, honestly, this is a really good active. It's definitely got some danger to it, but I think overall it's pretty damn good. Especially with the fact that we've got abilities to slow enemies as well. I'll use it again here. Wait. 
Oh. Dude. Linearly slows enemies. Look how slow Izao is. If I use it again. That's his movement speed now. This thing's ace. <laughs> Holy damn, this thing's good. Now, we, we, it means that we can't use him for damage anymore. Obviously. I don't like where he's situated right now. We could die to this guy super easily. And we got him. Rune bag is working as well, which is nice to see. Didn't expect it to for some reason. We got a devil deal here. There's no harm in checking it out at this point, so I will. <laughs> okay. Kind of busted. Um, this is probably pretty worthwhile. I know that we only took one angel deal so far. Oh, dude. He's permanently stuck like that now. If I go to the next floor and he's still like that, I'm going to be over the moon. Um... Mother's Love is probably a good idea because it gives a familiar and we've already got one familiar. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Big Chub, another familiar. Great stats all around here. Uh, ooh. ooh. Milk of Baphomet's really good, but I think I'm going to take the, uh, the the Reflected Cancer because one of them's going to be gold. Yeah, that's that's probably better. <laughs> Little bit worried about my HP right now. If he's stuck like that permanently, I'm going to be so happy. I just need to make sure I don't die now. My dude. He's, he's, he doesn't even follow me through rooms anymore. <laughs> he's not going to be like it on the next floor, is he? Oh, well, he doesn't appear on the next floor, does he? Okay. So use that once. Come through here. That's good for the max HP. This is good. Pop that. Basically, we need to be popping this whenever we can. Ow. It's going to get me hit from time to time, but it's very worthwhile. Okay, so yeah. He's, he's on his run now. Pop over here and use it. Slow down again. Dude, these blue scuzzit things are fucking everywhere. Also, my fire rate is nuts right now. Dude, this active. It's so much more broken than I could possibly imagine. Look at my goddamn fire rate. It's like I got soy milk. It's awesome. I need to stop taking damage though. I know that I can leave the room now when he's like this as well, so I don't have to worry about like him getting up on my shit. Um This is tricky, because I kind of do want the HP here. I don't know what just killed him, but he dead now. What we got here, Monstro 2? Yeah, Monstro 2. Oh, dude. Please don't say I die to this fiendish boy. Good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take the HP here. It's not ideal, but I, I really want to be able to stay alive here. Buy a key here. So staying in the room is better for all the bosses, because we, we keep the tier effect of slowing enemies. We want to be keeping that. So we want to stay in the room, but in terms of Izao, once we've used it maybe like five times, four times, he's completely neutered. Devil deal again here. I don't think either of those are worth the HP. Let's 
go down. Now, the only problem is the actual greed fight is probably not going to be so easy to utilize this because I'm going to get hit more, but I'll try my best. Um, God's flesh is that? Obviously isn't great, but we'll take it. Oh, we got a tainted treasure room here, which is unexpected. Jesus juice, pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get me hit, as I said. I don't really get these enemies very much, so stick with me here. After three times. Okay, we only need to use it three times to make him fully neutered, which is not a lot. Any time after this is just going to be for extra fire rate increases. Oh, there's a mini boss here, I didn't see you. Good, good. Yeah, we want to do it all in one go, realistically. Wait, what, what did that say? Enemies in the current room will drop soul hearts on death. Okay, unfortunately that's not very good, but for later it'll be really good, like next floor maybe. He's getting all frozen and glitched out as well, which is kind of nice for us. It's bloaty bloat. Bloaty McBloat face. Devil deal here. We've got Fettered Heart and, I don't know, again, not worth it. I'm not willing to trade my HP for those things. I don't know what either of those are. We don't need the key for the next floor. We did get a soul heart here though. Okay. Not bad. Tainted treasure room. Meh. Right, down we go. Okay. Car battery seems real good. It might freeze us for twice the length of time, though, so we've got to be wary of that. No refresh machine again, though, is kind of sucky. Let me just check what this does again. Enemies uh, in the current room draw soul hearts. Um, spawn pickups rewards for collecting a lot of soul hearts. Okay, so we start this, and then we pop that. Yeah, it does, it does use it twice. It isn't double slow down though, so this is great. Oh, they drop souls, not soul hearts. I see. They take some damage there. He's already fairly neutered. We got quite a bit of money on this floor. I don't even know what's enemies and what's not at the minute. It's really confusing. Soul of Apollyon. It does 1.5 every time we use it now. That's awesome.
God damn. out quickly get all these birdies dead quickly check out what's going on in here again not worth devil deals have been a bit sucky for us recently okay now this is all about getting up to max hp so first of all buy all the hearts then buy the half price things Unfortunately, a lot of actives here, which isn't ideal. A lot of actives here, which really isn't ideal. And a blue map, great. Chaos doesn't really do anything to us, does it? Or not much at all. Shadow Glass is a big fat nerf, so that ends that streak of buying things. Anyways, uh, card here is stars, whatever. Right. Ooh, I didn't think about the fact that we're not going to get to use our active multiple times coming up to the um, the boss fight here. We're only going to get to use it once. Which is two usage, which is still good, but it's not going to have the same effect as we previously had, which is upsetting. Still though, I think we've got a reasonably good chance here going into this. Uh, right, check out our arcade quickly. Pretty trash. Spend the rest of my money on this, hoping for a soul heart. Yeah. Oh my god. The fact that we got two soul hearts for seven cent here is kind of incredible. Right, we got mana mega explosions here. Uh, wait, actually. So definitely want that, obviously. Now we'll take the mana mega explosion. Right. Okay, this isn't going to be as good as before, but we will go in and try our best. Um, we want to go down. We want to use it in this first room here. Use it here for the fire rate. And then we use it again after this once ease out spawns. We didn't get a charge. Okay, my bad. I thought that would give you a charge for some reason. It doesn't. Okay, so this is kind of... I've kind of whiffed this a bit. I have kind of whiffed this a little bit. I thought that room gave you a charge because, you know, any room with enemies in that you complete gives you a charge, apart from that one. So now we are at risk of Izao hitting us. Still. Not a, not a super large risk, albeit. But it's still plausible. We won't actually use Anima Solar now. Oh, but we got car battery, so we can actually use it on the boss now as well. Okay, Anima Solar has become more useful. One minute, I've got an itchy chin. If I die on this, I'm going to be really pissed off now that I've kind of balls this up. I, I, Why doesn't that room give you a charge? Does anyone know that why that room doesn't give you a charge when literally every other combat room in the entire game does? Is it because it spawns the enemy after the fact? Like, it's not a combat room to start with, and so it doesn't count as a combat room, really? Fuck's sake, I'm going to die on this goddamn run, aren't I? <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Also, this bitch keeps healing himself. <sighs> this is very frustrating. What a, what a way to lose this run. I mean, also, what the fuck, dude? This is way, way more explosions than you normally spawn. Come on, now. I got hit so early as well. Oh, bollocks. Having all of these guys inbound is going to be rough. It does level up my dagger though, which is nice. Dude, stop with all the goddamn keys, my guy. Too many keys, fuck me.
I need to use the um, anima solo when there's no keys about, no coins, sorry. Because the coins are uh, getting locked in rather than him. Stop with all the coins, dingus. We did first phase, but I, I gotta be honest, I'm not hopeful on the second phase, even remotely. Yeah, but what can you do? That is such a sucky, sucky, sucky way to lose that run. I don't, I'm not saying that me having used that active in the boss room will have completely saved everything, but what the actual hell? Why does that room not give you a charge? It clearly should. If there isn't a mod that fixes that, there should be. I'm gonna find that out. Um, greed room. I don't really know what I'd search to find that. Greed secret room fix. That's not the one. Um, greed gullet fix. That's not the one. Greed murder bottom button. That's not the one. Hmm. Greed murder. Search greed murder. Either way, I'm I'm a bit peeved about that. That was all going so well, and that one room has cursed me. Absolutely cursed me. Ah, <sighs> it is what it is. But I, at least I know now that that um that active on this character is absolutely busted. Um, because it stops him, it slows him down for the entire floor, which I wouldn't have expected, but it's kind of awesome. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless, despite the, uh, the unfortunate death, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.